If someone says you are a highly sensitive person, you might take it as a sign of weakness, but that is not entirely true. If you give your sensitivity a right direction, it might give you unique traits and some great qualities as a person. According to a researcher, Dr. Elaine Aron, 20% of us are born as a highly sensitive person or HSP in short. And 70% of all the introverts are highly sensitive people. Being a highly sensitive person means that you have a highly sensitive nervous system, which allows you to think deeply and connect with things on an emotional level. You can feel emotions more deeply than most people, which can go either way. You can feel love more deeply and care for others' feelings on an unusual level, but you can also feel a lot more hurt and sad if something unfavorable happens. It's really important for a highly sensitive person to acknowledge their sensitivity and care for themselves or else they could be prone to depression and getting emotionally drained. Here are 11 signs that will help you identify if you or someone around you is a highly sensitive person. Number 1. You empathize deeply and feel others' emotions. You are happy in other people's happiness and you feel the pain when you see others in pain. Number 2. You cry easily and you cry often. You could cry watching an emotional video or seeing someone in pain. You often cry when life gets a bit overwhelming and it's often very cathartic for you to cry to express your rich emotions. Number 3. You are sensitive to high stimulus. Too much use of social media, too much noise, too much traffic and people, and too much bright lights can overwhelm and drain you easily. Number 4. You get emotionally attached to people and your surroundings. So big changes can temporarily overwhelm you at times, and you tend to seek familiarity and comfort when going through such changes. Number 5. Tough comments from people and even constructive criticism can hurt your feelings easily. Even though sometimes you know that the criticism or that comment is coming from a sincere place, but you can't help but get uncomfortable or even hurt. Number 6. It is hard for you to let go of the harsh comments and negative emotions. You keep thinking about those tough and uncomfortable interactions for days or even weeks. You are an overthinker and you worry too much even in small things. You think of too many consequences and analyze things too much and you focus too much on what could go wrong. Number 8. Overthinking also leads you to care too much about what other people think of you. You get too worried about other people getting you in the wrong way or perceiving you negatively. Number 9. You think deeply and often have deep insights about life which can allow you to view things from different perspectives. Number 10. Because of being sensitive to all the external stimulation that life is constantly bombarding you with, you sometimes want to shut everything off and hide. You don't want to meet anybody or go outside for some time, and you just want to be with yourself and have some time to recharge. Number 11. You often judge yourself harshly and take all the blame on yourself when you don't meet the high expectations you have set for yourself. This could make you think less of yourself and look down upon yourself at times. If you find any of these traits within you, you're probably among the highly sensitive people. And it's a good thing because the world needs more people like you who would think deeply for others and be unusually kind considerate and caring. But at the same time, you must make sure that you are managing your emotions well and taking care of yourself for the sake of your own mental and emotional health and well-being. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on the next video. Till then, take care of yourself. I'll see you soon.